Hey guys, it's Alex, and I am here with my weekly review, and that book is P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. This is a this was a reread for me. I initially read this book when I was a sophomore in high school, and I kind of hated it at the time, but I also loved it. And as I read it again, I remembered why. This is about Holly, an Irish woman whose husband Jerry has just died of a brain tumor. A few weeks after his death, she gets a letter in the mail from Jerry. Before he died, he planned out letters for her for the rest of the year. Each letter has an instruction of something for her to do that can be as small as buy a bedside lamp or as big as take a vacation with your friends to Spain. It covers all manner of topics. It's just a women's fiction book that always hits me so hard. It follows Holly in her grief and as she's starting to get over Jerry and learn to continue living with her life. I want to be honest in this review because I have very mixed feelings on this book. I gave it four stars, but there's a fairly big caveat to that four star rating. And that's that this book is not very well written. And it's not very well written in the way that if a friend asked me about this book, I would probably call the writing pretty god awful. The writing itself, of course, but also the way the characters are written feels quite flat and stereotypical. They can often be fairly unlikable in their flatness. They often act quite immaturely and they're quite petty, but the story makes it what it is for me. I love this story. I love following Holly on her journey through her grief. There's just something so emotional about it. I spend most of this book crying, and usually bad writing makes me completely not enjoy a book because I'm someone who is fairly picky about the writing style, but I just don't care in this. I, I really don't care about the writing. It's just all about the story for me. And the story is so heartbreaking and lovely, and I honestly spend about two thirds of this book just crying because it's too much. Like overall, yes, it's very sad that her husband has died, but the way it's written is in such a small way. And by that, I mean it, it talks about a lot of small events. Like at one point, Holly wears Jerry's robe, I think at sometime in the spring or summer, when he's been dead for quite a while already, and she mentions that the robe doesn't smell like him anymore. And that crushes me. Another point, she's watching TV late at night, and sort of in that half-asleep phase, and she just sort of leans over and says, Jerry, turn off the light, and I just bawl. And it's all these little moments that just feel so realistic and so relatable that make this book what it is for me. It's a four-star read because of the story and because of the emotion it always brings out in me. But I can fully understand why people would DNF this book or really hate this book because I think if this were any other book than this one, I, I would feel the same way about it. It's just something about it hits me so hard. So I, I would recommend it to a very specific subset of people who wouldn't necessarily be bothered by the poor writing because I know that doesn't always bother some people if the story and the emotions are there. And this would be a very short review because that's pretty much all I have to say about this book. Except I'm going to talk a little bit about the book versus the movie because this review is so short so I decided to give it some more, some more content. I think a lot of people have seen the movie and maybe, and perhaps only seen the movie or not even known that it was based on a book. I do love the movie. I want to say that up front. I, I do enjoy the movie. The movie makes me cry. Not as much as the book does, but it does make me cry. The book and the movie are two completely different things. They have the same premise, but there's so much that's just completely different. For starters, the movie is in, set in New York, Holly's, Holly's a New Yorker, and in the book it's set in Ireland, and all the characters are just Irish. Cecilia Ahern's Irish, so, so obviously she said it in her home country, which most writers do. I prefer the book because the book has so much more story than the movie does. The movie has the general premise and it does hit most of the major points, but it's an hour and a half long movie, I think, two hours. It's a standard length movie. The book is almost 500 pages long. There's a lot more story here. The story is a lot more in depth and you get a lot more of Holly and her life and her family and her relationships and how she's dealing. The movie doesn't have a worse story necessarily, 
but it does have a significantly more limited scope. And for that reason, I do much prefer the book, because I love the story aspect. I love getting to know Holly's brother Richard, and her other siblings, and her friends, and everything that the movie sort of skips over, just out of necessity for time constraints. And the main problem I have with the movie is the karaoke scene. I hate the karaoke scene in the movie because it's done so much better in the book. And I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I love that she was bad at karaoke. She was atrocious at karaoke in the book. And that's written into it. It's not that she was amazing and had a bad experience, it's that she's bad and she had a bad experience. And I love that. I love that she was allowed to be crap at something. And in the movie, she was just amazing at it. And it always crushed me. Just a little bit. So. And it always, that scene always crushes me in the movie. Just a little bit. Because I enjoy her singing off key to a whole crowd of people who don't really applaud her because it's so god awful. Overall, gave this four stars. Prefer it to the movie. But would recommend the movie if the premise sounds good but you think you'd be put off by the poor writing. Let me know down below if you've read this book or seen the movie. I would be really interested. I would be really interested to hear your thoughts on either of those. And as always, thank you so much for watching and commenting. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!